guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another studio vlog. I've had a week off and I am now back. <laughs> I'm sorry that I missed the studio vlog last week. Um, I just needed time offline. Yeah, I started a studio vlog, but yeah, by Tuesday I was like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I am getting out of here. I still don't know if I'm kind of back. I don't know if I want to even film this week. Um, but I thought I'll start today off filming and we'll just see how the week goes. So yeah, I did start filming last week. Um, I did film on the Monday and a little bit of Tuesday, but um, I opened the studio vlog. The plan was to open the studio vlog and talk about the Black Lives Matter protests and, and what's happening in the world. I, I was really conscious that I wanted to open the vlogs with that. Um, and then when I didn't put a vlog up, I felt really guilty that maybe I haven't addressed it and I, I should I should be doing. So I was gonna do it again, I was gonna chat again, but I've rewatched that clip and I think it, I was very emotional last Monday. Um, so I'm just gonna insert that footage. So what you're about to see was last Monday, a week ago, um, and my thoughts on what's happening. Hi guys, welcome to the start of another studio vlog <laughs> I hope you're all okay um do you know what it's Monday morning and I, I'm in a weird mood I feel really um not happy um I would say like content at the minute in terms of how things are going at home and um, like with work and things like for the first time in a very long time I wake up on a Monday I'm excited for the week in terms of work for so long I got up and went to work um you know when I was like employed and I was just looking at the clock all day long I don't know if anyone else like can relate to this but you know, even if it's in a job doing like what you always wanted to do, I would sit at my desk and just watch the clock and be like, right, three hours till home time, two hours till home time. Um, and for years I did that and it's only now that I wake up on a Monday morning and I am so excited to get to work and to like plan the week and not once do I look at the clock and think, right, I could sign off at five. Like it just doesn't happen. and for that I'm just really grateful that I'm I feel like that now on the other hand um I feel angry I am mad I am frustrated with what's going on in the world right now um and before we get into this week because it's going to be a lovely week it's going to be I, I just know it's going to be a nice week, but there is no way that I am carrying on with this video without addressing, um, yeah, what's happening in the world, in America, and, well, it's everywhere, isn't it, but, um, I, please don't skip past this part of the video, um, we have to talk about it, um, what happened with George Floyd, like, that video, it, it's really affected me and I, it should affect every single person um, and we have to talk about it we have to talk about just what's going on the racism that is still happening in this world and it makes me feel sick <laughs> um, now it's awkward to talk about people are avoiding talking about it but I think if you're avoiding it you're part of the problem um, we have to talk about it. We have to talk about how we can fix this, how we can sort it. And as a white woman, um, I can do more. I can do more. And right now, I'm trying to figure out what that is. Like, I can do a post on Instagram, I can talk about it on here, but it's not enough. And I'm frustrated that that's not enough. So basically, I don't want you to think I'm not addressing the situation. Trust me, it's all I can think about. Um, so I'm just trying to educate myself. I am trying to do whatever I can. Um, I'm gonna leave links below for petitions you can sign, how you can donate, just like 
you can protest in so many different ways you don't need to be on the front lines if that's not what you want to do there are so many other ways you can do it you can raise awareness to it but there's no way that i am going to show you my week and the great things that are happening without highlighting the shit that's happening in the world so there we go we've chatted about it um i would love to have a conversation about it so yeah so that was last week um i'm still angry <laughs> I'm still frustrated um, but I have spent time offline and it's been great in terms of I've watched documentaries, I've read books, I've read so many articles, I've donated places. I feel like I, I'm, I'm trying to educate myself and do better. Um, so I'll leave links below to things that I've been watching and things I've been reading. Um, if you want to check it out so I will keep addressing it I'll probably address it before the end of the video but um, yeah I did film that last week it's now Monday the 8th of June and yesterday I launched my mermaid collection um, last week it was just a shit show sorry for swearing um, I cancelled my launch and then my mum was like Emily you've got to go for it don't let your confidence and lack of it put you down, go for it. Um, so I did and it was insane, insane. Um, so thank you so much if you supported me on this project. Um, it's been a wonderful month of me working on it and I'm so happy that people are going to have things in their hands to keep from it. So yeah, I'm just going to spend some time now going through the orders, just having a nausea of what people have bought. Um, I have got more things to print because I don't know if did I chat about this oh I chatted about it last week and then didn't finish the vlog so um I've decided not to I'm gonna do my prints on demand normally I print loads of prints off and then I have loads in my drawer because they're just not selling so because there were so many mermaids I didn't know which ones would be successful so um I've printed two of each design but um yeah I am just going to print them on demand when people order. I think that's, it's, I'm not wasting paper and it's very easy for me to do it like that. So I need to do that. I need to go through my orders and do a tally of how many prints I need to do. Same with stickers. So the stickers are a bit different because um, I can just make loads of them, but I didn't make too many because I just didn't know how it would go. So, so yeah, um, so we've got those to do. And then um, I'm gonna try and do a little bit of drawing. Um, I want to work on a couple of things. I've got my wallpapers to go out for Patreon, um, which I've started and I wanna finish. Basically, that's that's your catch up on what's been happening. I'm doing fine, I'm getting better. Um, just to have a bit of knock of confidence and sometimes it happens and you have to just take a step back and and see the bigger picture and that's what I've done so my indie roller podcast went up last week I don't know if you've listened to it if you haven't I'll leave a link for that as well um and in it I talk about having you know taken a step back sometimes and um yeah just drawing for yourself and not worrying too much what people think and I talk about how these studio vlogs started as a diary for myself and that I could look back on in 10 years time and that's what I'm going to do with this video I'm not going to worry about what people think. <laughs> um, I am going to treat it as a diary. So let's get into the week. I hope you're doing okay. Um, yeah, crazy world we live in at the minute. So I'm just going through all of the orders now. And I've just tallied up how many sticker packs I need and how many prints I need because they're the two things that I'm printing on demand I've got 30 sticker packs that I need to make <laughs> and then prints wise there's some that weren't even um picked so it's a good job I didn't print them um but the most popular seem to be um the superhero so that's the Wonder Woman print Boho and Goth so I need to print some more of those as well and then just fire the Cricut machine up and get going. I've got a lot of printing to do. I'm just gonna crack on and try and get as many orders done as possible. I'm tempted to go through and package up the orders, like while things are printing, package up the orders that don't need those things. 
Um, normally I like to do my orders like in the order they've come, um, but they all came in yesterday so it doesn't really matter which ones I start first. Um, so yeah, finish this brew. That's now cold and crack on. So I'm currently printing prints um, and I thought I'd just show you my little setup I've got here. I've had a bit of a rejig <laughs> and I've put all my products out so that it's like easier to grab things, you know, when I'm packaging orders. So basically, let me show you. So this is just like my standard IKEA um, shelving unit. Um, and I've put prints in here. So I use this, this is actually like a plate rack, um, which I got from Ikea. They're only a couple of quid to pick up, but they hold different prints in it. So I can like flick through and find which one I need. So that's really good. These are my notepads. So I got these for patron boxes, but I have some left over. So they're gonna go in my bundle boxes. And then here, this unit, I've just bought at co-op. <laughs> um, it was in like a bargain bin. I'm really sorry about this printer. It's gonna be really distracting, but um, it was like in a clearance section. It was only like three pounds, um, but I'm putting stickers in it. So sticker packs in there and more sticker packs. So that's handy <laughs> to just grab quickly. Then below I have colouring books and my wooden pins in here. I have my key rings back there and bookmarks and then I have pins and buttons, badges there. So yeah, that's a new little setup and I change it often. So <laughs> I don't know how long it'll stay like that for but at least while I'm packaging these boxes it's very easy to just grab, grab quickly. Um, I used to put things in a drawer but having them out and accessible is good. So, um, so yeah, so I'm just printing these off. My stickers are printed, they just need to be cut. What else do I need to do? I think that's it, and then I can just start packaging boxes up. I did wanna show you though, I've had a delivery, um, and I've actually been using them, but because I didn't film last week, I, uh, I couldn't show you, but if you watched my last video, you'll know I talked about the lovely company No Issue. They kindly, kindly got in touch about a month ago and said that they were making some new products, this is one of them, and would I love to try them out? And I was like, uh, yes please, no issue. I mentioned it on my last video, but just in case you haven't seen it. They're just a really lovely company. They're very eco-friendly. They make lots of things that are sustainable from sustainable products. They were doing tissue paper and tape and stickers. I use the stickers. Um, and they're branching out and trying these cards. And they asked me if I wanted to make some. When you open it up, you get given this and it says, meet your no issue cards made from 100% FSC certified recycled paper printed with soy based inks, 100% compostable. Um, so yeah, and then what I've had printed are my new thank you cards. So I ha used to have an old design. I don't know where it is. Um, but I thought it was time to switch it up a little bit. Um, and I've now gone for these. So we have this on one side. The quality is so lovely. You see the shine on that. And then on the other side is my thank you message. Um, and a little signature at the bottom. So yeah, thank you so much to No Issue. They've sent me some to try and the quality is just beautiful. Um, so I'll, I have been putting them in orders, but I'll put them in today's as well. So yeah, thank you so much to No Issue. I will leave a link for them below. Like I said, these were kindly gifted to me. I have printers and crickets going off. Anyway, I'm being productive, it's good. <laughs> All my prints are done that I need for these batch of orders. Um, I'm currently just printing off the stickers. And I, make, I need to make those sticker packs. I need to start making up some boxes. So it's a bit awkward how I'm gonna have to ship these, but because I've got these A3 prints that are gonna go in postal tubes, um, they're gonna have to go out with small parcels, the bundles, which is fine, it's all good. So I've got a lot of boxes that I'm gonna start making up and prepping. 
Um, but I've just had an Amazon delivery. Um, I wanted to order some books. I've been getting into reading again and this has nothing to do with a uh -huh, but I just thought I'd share. So I'm a bit obsessed with normal people. I don't know if anyone else has watched it um, on BBC Three, I play it. Hulu, it's all over. Um, I'm obsessed with normal people. If anyone else is, please let me know below. Um, I read the book and now I want to read her other book. So I bought Conversation with Friends, so I'm gonna read that. Then I bought this book, which was recommended on Instagram and it's called Queenie. Um, and I just put out on Instagram saying that I'm looking for children's books that are more diverse um for Luca I just want to fill his like bookshelf with just like different characters from everywhere and just make sure that his bookshelf is very diverse so I have ordered some books but um why have they not come with this I'm very confused I, I have ordered some books off Amazon so they'll be coming and when they do come I'll share um but then I saw somebody shared this book and I was like oh yes I will get this um <laughs> So a dark, a darkly comic and bitingly submersive take on life, love, race and family, Queenie will have you nodding in recognition, crying in solidarity and rooting for this unforgettable character every step of the way. Um, so this is the book, Queenie. Candice Carty Williams is by. I'll leave a link for it below, but I got that. And then it was like a, you know when they suggest you should, if you bought these two, why don't you buy this? And this book came up, so I've just bought this one. Um, which is the flat share. Don't know what it's about. Looks like my kind of book. So I've ordered that as well. So I'm going to get back into reading. I tend to just read when I'm on holiday. I don't know if anyone else does that. Um, but I'm going to make a conscious effort to read. So I'll let you know how they go. Um, my cricket's finished. I'm going to go and <laughs> just take the stickers off. Um, yes. So I'm happy with those purchases. That's one mermaid done. I'm just going to print the rest and make up my sticker packs. not got everything done that way too i've not even started packing orders and it's quarter past four <laughs> i just didn't expect this many sticker packs to be bought so i've just <sighs> i've made lords <laughs> i've made lords i've made prints and i think i'm all good now so i'm gonna start tackling my orders <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is today, tonight, because I don't have much, like, I can't work much longer. I need to sort Luca out. I need to make sure he's fed and bathed and ready for bed. Um, so I need to stop. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the orders and I'm going to spend the next 45 minutes packaging things that are quick. One, two items. And then tomorrow is when I'll do the bundles and the bigger things. I think that's probably wise. I can probably shift half of the orders tonight if I, cause some of them are just small. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna sit and package these and then tomorrow we will do the big boys, the big orders, the big boxes, cause they're gonna take longer.
<sighs> I am sweating. I was packaging orders. Everything was swell. And then at five o'clock, I had to stop packaging orders because mum duty called. So I had some food. Luca had some food. We had play, we played for a bit. I bathed him. And now Matt is getting him to sleep for me. I am exhausted. <laughs> I was not gonna come back on. I was just gonna call it a night. Um, but I am very conscious that I get lots of lovely mummies watching my studio vlogs. And I get so many messages saying, oh, I don't know how you're juggling it all. I don't know how you're doing it. I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, my back hurts, like seriously. My back really hurts. I, yeah, I'm tired. I just wanna get in bed. I never wanna say overwork yourself. Never do that. If you wanna stop, stop. But if you put in that extra hour when your little one's asleep and when they're having a nap, those hours really do add up and um, it's so easy to just stop. You know, when the kids go to sleep and watch telly and put your feet up. And I really want to do that, by the way. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to do another hour. Um, I'm not going to package orders. I'm going to stop. I'm going to work on my wallpaper for Patreon. Um, because I really need to get that done. I got quite a few orders packaged. Maybe about 30. Um, and I'll finish them tomorrow. I'll do all the big ones tomorrow. So that's good. But for now, I'm just going to draw for an hour. And then I'm going to get in bed. So I'll put a little time lapse on. Because I've not done this in a while. I haven't drawn for you in a while. So I hope you like it. morning it's now tuesday 10 o'clock and i'm here wrapping orders so i'm currently rolling up my large prints and putting them in tubes which is a bit nerve-wracking because i've never rolled up any of my work before um but it's the most protective way to send it so when they unroll it i'll need to flatten it out a little bit but it should look lovely so I'm currently just doing a few. Um, I packaged up, I don't know if you can see behind me, doesn't look like many, but there's, a, there's quite a few orders there. Um, so I did all the small orders last night, yesterday slash last night. And then this morning I'm working on my bundles. So I'll show you my setup in a minute. So one thing I was trying to work out was, um, so I've numbered and signed all of the prints. Um, but I want people to receive them in the order that they're ordering. Does that make sense? So like the first person that ordered a box will get number one. Um, so it's a case of like, once they're in their tubes, how do you know which number's which? And I've decided that on the caps that go on the top of the tubes, I'm numbering them so that I can easily just grab the next number. Does that make sense? Um, and I don't have to like, guess where I'm up to. So when you get yours, um, you'll know what number you've got on the cap of your tube, which I think is quite nice. So, like that, is that right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, right, there's one. Number two. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna bore you. I'm gonna go and do another 20 of these and I'll be back. <laughs> so I've set up all of my boxes and these are my prints down here. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do, I'll do the first one and I'll show you everything that I'm gonna put inside it. I don't actually know how I'm gonna package it yet, but um, we'll figure that out now. <laughs> and then I will get them all wrapped up. So the first thing we need, so the, the order that I've chosen, one of the first ones that's come in, um, the two prints that they want are Wonder Woman and Boho. So 
I'll just grab them from. So we have Wonder Woman and Boho. And then they also get a notepad. Where they get each um, bookmark. So I'll grab one of each. They also get a key ring and a sticker pack. They also get a coloring book. Okay, so we've got the coloring book, stickers, bookmarks, notebook, and two prints. So we'll put them in there. And then here, I'm gonna sign the inside of this. Signed, fine, so that's that. Then I will put the notebook, actually, we'll put the key ring and the sticker pack. These, I might just protect them a little bit with some. I don't really use these anymore because I'm just, yeah, I don't really want to, but I think it'll protect the bookmarks, so put them in there. And this on top, a little thank you card. And then I've got a sticker on hand. Like that. So then that's kind of packaged. And then what we'll do is... So I've placed that in the box and I will pad it a bit more. And then we will put in um, a tube like this. Put a little bit more. Like this. So yeah, so that is done. It's nice and light, so that's good. There is quite a bit of space in there. I wish I'd have got um, a smaller depth in box, but it's fine it's nicely cushioned in there and the poster is protected so that's good so now i've got another 10 to do <laughs> so it's a bit later now Hang on. shut this window i have packaged everything i am exhausted <laughs> but i've packaged everything so i have the bundles here and oh there's so many packages so let me see if i can show you so I don't want to show any addresses, but these are all the mermaid bundles for the UK. There's a couple for America. And then this bag is full. This bag, it's just full. <laughs> and then I've put them in bags and I've written on them how I want them sending. So I've just messaged the post office to say I'm on my way and they're ready for me. So I'm gonna go and drop them off now. Um, but yeah, I, I'm gonna call it a day, I'm knackered. It's 20 past two, <laughs> feels like 8 p.m. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go be a mum. I will catch up with you tomorrow. So it's now Thursday and I didn't record yesterday because I realized it was my 10 year anniversary. Oh my gosh. Um, so I did do a bit of work, but I just, I don't know. I've come to realize that I don't need to film every day and it doesn't matter how long the videos are. Some weeks I might want to film just one day, some day, some weeks I might want to film every day, it'll just depend. So I'm going to end the video here, it's Thursday, it's not even lunchtime yet, <laughs> I never do this. I normally film all the way through to Friday and I rush trying to edit it. I'm quite happy with what I filmed and um, yeah I'm going to get on with a few things that I can't really vlog. So anyway, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I've got one of these which I'm very excited to eat. <laughs> People are starting to receive their orders today that you've seen me package. Um, and if that's one of you, I just wanna say thank you so much. Um, my shop is open and I will leave links below if you want to pick up anything. Um, again, that would just be absolutely amazing. Um, like I promised, I am gonna leave links below for things that I'm watching things that I'm reading. I started reading Queenie by the way and it's very good. Highly recommend. Is there anything else we need to talk about? I don't think there is. <laughs> I'm over on Instagram if you want to come and say hi 
or if you want to join us on Patreon. I've just released our new art challenge for this month um, and it's going to be a fun one. I'm so excited about it. I might even work on that a little bit today. Um, and then this weekend we have our live stream. So I would love for you to join us over there if you want to do that. Either way, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.